hello waffles welcome back to today's video so i have a very interesting tutorial today which is the sugar sheet tutorial it's a trending recipe and if you don't know it is an opportunity for you to learn it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do click on the notification bell i post new videos every week and let's get to know this. our sugar sheet recipe needs just three things this is the sugar the glucose and a color that that is optional so we have about two cups of granulated sugar and we have some glucose here i already put pop this into the microwave for about 12 seconds then i uh, you can do this in a double boiler if you don't have a microwave it's just to give it a great consistency that you can work with so i'm going to be using this particular a bag we, if you can use a ziploc bag it works better so just go ahead and, uh, and pour our sugar into the bag this is just to help us mix our color properly so we'll go ahead and add any color of your choice this is also not compulsory if you just want to use it white but just give it a beautiful effect when you use color you can you, you could see the picture of this thumbnail it's just so beautiful it's just calling you right away i'm sure so just pop in some color just depending on what exactly you want then that's all you can use a paste color or just a water color they all work together then we can go ahead and cover your nylon if you use a ziplock bag just cover it properly assuring there is no air bubbles in it seriously working with a ziplock bag is far better this is giving you a meal of stress while trying to incorporate the color so just go with what you have they all work so fine because it still came out fine though so we are done with this just use our finger and press in the color inside the sugar the essence of this is to incorporate the color properly inside the sugar so just take your time since it's properly done and it becomes this way please don't be too in a hurry everything must look like this that's what we're talking about so make sure every part of your sugar has the color you 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 have desired that is just the tea then go ahead and pour this in the bowl that's all we need then you pour in your already melted glucose remember to pop this in the microwave for about 10 seconds or just put it in the double boiler to dissolve for a while try to give it a better consistency guys don't forget that make sure you do this do this in order for you to just make your work easier and it comes out better that's all so just go ahead and use our spoon and start incorporating the glucose inside the sugar that's basically or just take your time and just mix them all properly then i think i just need to wash my hands at this time and use my hands in incorporating it properly i think that works better so we just go ahead that's not so i don't just mix it properly and that's it see it becomes like a sandy like texture then that is ready to roll now note when rolling you have to use two things which is a silicone mold or you can use a parchment paper or baking paper because you don't I want it to stick to any surface that's why we're working with this remember while it's at this text this point it cannot it can stick to anything it's going to be so you need a non-sticky surface for this to work properly fine so i can i have just one sugar sh um, silicone board rather right here so i'm just going to work with it i'm going to put it in this in the side of it you know kind of straighten it out to make it long because my cake is kind of a little kind of wide then you can use a double parchment paper too or a double baking paper just place the other baking paper on top and that's it so i went to wash my hand because it was really messy and we'll go ahead and cover up the sugar sheet on the second part of the silicone mold if you have a double silicone mold just cover the whole of it on it they are going to use a rolling pin in rolling out the sugar sheet now you should note something that you don't have to roll your sugar sheet to be too thin because of the state of temperature in wherever you are because when it comes out too thin then I after a while it, the upper the upper place of it tends to like fall off. It just causes a lot of mess on the cake. So just try to avoid it making try to avoid making it too thin. You can make it a little bit thick because that is what sugar shit is all about. So go ahead and just mix it prop uh, sorry roll it out properly. Take your time. You can check it up. You know the sides that are really thin and the sides that. Are, you know higher than work on that area that's just like as if you're working on your phone that's how the sugar shit is but don't forget don't roll it too thin so that's what i'm just doing here i rolled out every part of it and i've ensured that it is of the same size. now that i'm sure it's at of the same size it can work in three ways you can put this in the oven for 
about 30 minutes and about 50 degrees celsius don't make it a very high temperature or you just leave it outside the oven for three hours or you leave it for an hour outside the oven before popping it inside the oven for like just a few minutes so that's it until when you can touch it this way look at i'm touching it and you can see that it's really dried so i'm going to cut out a part of it what i'm going to do here i'm just cutting it out cutting it out with my pizza cutter you could just use a knife for this so this narrow side i'm cutting out just to allow, allow it to sit on the cake properly let's like go around your cake properly that's just what i'm trying to do here so i'm cutting off the excesses you can feel the texture like it's just exactly what we want now the texture really matters so guys be very careful about getting your texture so we're going to go around we're going to put this around our cake there's no particular way of doing it and hey, i forgot to tell you this while we're rolling the cake once you just get any mark like this you could join it back together i just use your rolling pin to you know join you back together while you were rolling it out so that's how it works so i'm kind of, I'm kind of putting a, a really beautiful pattern on it be, be very creative i tell you most of my video you are working with art be very creative creative so i just put some kind of patterns you know weirdly on it then i'll you need to be very careful while handling your sheets make sure your cake is close to you then you just go ahead and rub it around your cake now one thing you must know is is be very very careful of these notes make sure you're working on an american butter cream if you try this on a, a swiss american butter cream guy you are your own just make sure it has to be on a on an american butter cream because it allows the sugar to stick closely on it and without falling off and guys i made a mistake while doing my sugar sheet at first it was too high don't make it too high above the cake because your humidity or your temperature might not allow this so make sure you just a little bit high about above the cake use it a bowl if possible to measure it before cutting out the sugar sheet because i'm going to, I'm going to put the picture below after a while the next day it turned to another thing i'm going to just put the video uh, put a picture so you can see that so that's this i just put a little bit of uh, sugar sheet in, in the front and make it make mine a little bit creative then i have some metallic gold paint to you know pop up the edges make it look super super beautiful now don't forget you can still use your sugar sheet to cover around your whole cake some people like it around their whole cake some people like to leave some side open like i used to say in all my videos and i'm saying it again be creative you don't necessarily have to do one step so i just went ahead and you know cutting out a little bit in front and a little bit at the back you know making it beautiful by adding a metallic gold paint so guys if you have not checked out my instagram page make sure you do at Savarez cakes i just by the way so go ahead and you know add some little stuffs on it you can go ahead and put uh, whatever you like now on the cake you can use flowers you can use chocolate you can use anything as desired on your cake so you can go ahead and even use glitters to you know design the edges of your sugar sheet you can use whatever thing that comes to mind so i just like to use a metallic gold pin because you just pop out that particular size of it and that's it guys thank you so much guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't guys this is so beautiful the sugar sheet tutorial is a must learn turn off your notification bell and get notified as soon as the best post a new video and that's it like this video if you enjoyed it because i'm sure you did for watching to this point share this to your friends lovers and family i'll see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys i love you before you leave this was what i was talking about me well see you all in my next video bye